Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today, 3rd December, Nifty closed at 20,267 for this week. Before proceeding this week's Nifty and Bank Nifty's update, uh, I need to uh, share a few clarifications and charts which we discussed earlier. Uh, I received a few comments in uh, both uh, Twitter and YouTube that when the prices moves higher, uh, they post some negative comments. That's okay. Uh, that's not an issue. But uh, people saying that Elliott Way will not work is not at all acceptable. So people who are following me are watching this YouTube channel for one or two, three months. I have shared both the options. Okay. If not, I just take few minutes. Okay. That will be a good refresher. If you already watch those videos, I share few charts for uh, review what we have done last month or two months before and what happened after that our review or analysis. Okay. So this is on October 4th. Okay. When Nifty was trading around 19400, I said holding at 61.8% distance of wave 1 to 3. Since there are gaps, this need to be filled and price need to move higher. See, I have already posted the video how to deal with the gaps in LA8 waves. Okay. You can watch. I think uh, this video explains the concept. Okay. Coming to the point on October 4th. October 4, okay. I think this October 4, okay, around this zone. This need to be filled and price needs to move higher, okay. The price moved higher and this gap got filled. How I get this number? Wave 1 to 3 distance. How why I am taking it as 3? I explained all in detail in previous videos. That is expanded flat. This count is valid because it exactly worked what we analyzed. Okay. This is what the area 19372. This is the chart. Okay. The approximately that level. So I said that the price may move higher. From here the price moved higher. Okay. Next, on on October 10th, okay, on October 10th, 19650, October 10th, here, okay, in this level, you can see the date here, okay, in the cursor, October 10th, 19650. If breakout sustains and the price trades above 19680, the price may reach 19840 to 19900. Okay. This is the chart. Right. Mark this level. Kindly watch this level 19840 zone. See the reality here. The top made was, I think, the highest here. 19847 or something. Okay. 19,840 to 19,900 zone. So, in this level, the price got rejected. Okay. Here comes the most interesting part. Okay. On October 15th, here, okay. See the cursor, maybe on weekend, okay. On October 15th, if the market started declining this week, I am expecting support around 18,900 to 18,800, okay? And if then moves as expected, Nifty may head towards 20,650 to 21,000. I said on October 15th, okay? With the Elliott wave, that is what I am repeating. Why I am uh, saying all this uh, again is, Few people commented that Elliott Wave will not work. I, I don't know why they are saying, so you can post negative comments. I completely agree with you. It is a public forum. Uh, you can uh, comment anything. But criticizing the person or criticizing a tool is not a 
good idea okay and uh, if anything wrong happen the person who did may done some uh, wrong calculations that is also not a mistake it happens in all the tools okay if i did mistake that is my mistake not elite wave's mistake right so that is why i'm saying i, I don't know no person said at this level the price may come here and move higher and october 15th i said the support around 18800 to 900 see the support the low made 18830 around okay that is well within our zone and if moves expected nifty may head towards 2650 it's moving right and again see this on october 30 okay in simple two charts i mean the price almost declined from 18 sorry 19850 okay that zone in simple two charts expecting two options if bullish this would be three wave and price should trade above 19850 see if bearish we should have a three wave but what happened this is what happened see now i put daily chart i said in this zone right but the uh, loss decline not happen that is what the confusion but we discussed that too in previous videos it's a three way move and moves upside and also i mark this level so everything i informed earlier say it is not a trading advice this is only to understand how elite wave will work and how we can use it in practical terms this is how we need to do elite waves this is how we need to analyze a chart with elite waves okay so okay uh, coming back nifty this is what my view okay we are forming a ending pattern say not change anything so this is what the level i am expecting it comes around 20630 or even one more higher 20 this level okay this trend line as of now this is the trend line resistance i am the price goes to touch the trend line we need to see what the price does there okay so this is what my count because of bank nifty i am expecting some cautious approach on nifty okay everything i said in all my videos okay so don't mistake me i am saying that all these things because uh, if you are commenting and posting that elliot wave will not work so that's the only reason i am saying all these things okay so now bank nifty is coming inside the trend line and also breaking above the prior swing high this also i informed in previous videos the for bank nifty to change its color the minimum requirement i am not say the confirmation minimum requirement is crossing this level the minimum requirement has been done so how we can proceed further okay in nifty i better change this trend line to this now okay a three way move a three 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 and we should expect a three to validate this pattern okay a three way move have a broader picture like that okay because ending patterns will have a three wave structure 3 3 3 3 3 okay so we need a three wave structure here so we go hourly again i am posting for learning elliot waves not a trading recommendations please okay i can see a a triangle like structure pattern okay so triangle is the pattern it can comes in two areas mostly in impulse wave it comes in fourth wave okay in corrective pattern it may come in b wave okay it is an up move so this is four okay these are simple technique to count easily okay if you see a four you just need to find a steep three you can find say one more important trick okay 
after a triangle if a triangle comes what you should have in mind is the next up move will be the last up move of particular wave okay triangle comes just one wave before the end of that wave okay we should be knowing that information so accordingly where i can put the 1 2 3 4 5 now this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 right so what is this this is what uh, confusion but by seeing in daily chart we can take it as 1 okay if it is 1 i am putting options here if it is 1 okay 2 this entire wave can be 3 because we can see the gaps steepness okay in even this wave we can see steepness in gaps so all this can be part of wave 3 and a wave 4 and wave 5 may proceed this is one option okay and this can be wave 1 2 3 4 5 i change the color how we can analyze so how we can find the end point okay I, okay now if this is the case the third wave reached Okay, nearing three point six one eight, which is coming around nine. Sorry, twenty three fifty. Okay, so we should mark this level twenty thousand three fifty. Okay. Now, if we calculate the internal third wave, one two three four five, the fifth wave may end by calculating one two three distance. So it is already reached sixty one point eight, which is very important zone. Okay, twenty thousand two fifty. That is where the price is holding at now. Okay. Okay, the price has reached the minimum distance by calculating this fib number. Right. Now we calculate the internals of wave five. That is this particular wave. One, two, three, four, and five. right so by calculating this 1 2 3 distance calculating from 4 exactly price holding at the 61.8% so in two situations uh the price is reached the required distance if you remember i posted yesterday or uh, day before yesterday on twitter that uh nifty resistance is around uh, 20285 okay i i not took the screenshot but uh, if you remain that i have posted that uh, 20285 because of these reasons okay for the day or for the whole day the price not cross that zone fine but now we have an upper limit of 23 20350 is there any possible to check that we need to count the internals of this minor wave five i hope you understand how we are approaching the waves right okay so i'm going to one more lower time frame 15 minutes in 15 minutes it can be wave 1 2 this can be 3 if at all 1 2 3 4 5 possibly so don't we don't want to make a row minor wave minor wave minor wave it will make us confused so we i don't go down below the 15 minutes as of now so 1 2 the entire wave can be 3 i check how far this minor third wave reached okay it's almost three times okay 2.618 and three times okay if this third wave ended here 1 2 3 4 5 now okay how far this fourth wave may come this second wave reached 61.8% so we may expect a shallow wave 4 
if wave 4 declines we may expect a support around this gap zone okay this 38.2% comes around 20200 this price action point is 20197 approximately so this is most important support if it holds we may look for one more high okay as possible for completing this wave also but i am expecting now this may support if it gets support here i am assuming that the price get support at this level okay okay so if we calculate like this can we expect that 2350 third wave with fourth wave any extra i mean any additional relationships of fib numbers the 61.8 comes exactly around 20,350, right? There is higher chances, okay, we need to look for this count also, but there is higher chances that if the price declines, this is 15 minutes chart, maybe in next week, okay? The price declines and moves higher, the expected resistance is 20,350, okay? But have it in mind that in daily chart, sorry, in hourly chart, the price is already in resistance zone. Okay. Okay. If it is 1, 2, 3, and also you can watch the corrective pattern here, a sideways. Okay. If it is sideways, we may assume that a fourth in process and fifth may proceed. But the alternate count is, okay, because still bank nifty not participated in this move. If you see, the nifty made a higher high, new high, but bank nifty way behind, okay, see this. The high was, okay, the bank nifty high was around uh, 46,350, but uh, bank nifty not at all participated yet. So, Bank Nifty needs to move higher or else again, okay, I am giving the options A, B, C, okay, that is if it is, it can be, it can be A and B and if in C wave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in my opinion, this week, we may get a sideways or corrective patterns may happen in this week or next week because it may decline a move high also possible to complete the third or c if it is third after completing it may turn sideways if it is a b c after completing it start declining so one or two weeks these are the possible projections we need to track i hope you understand what i am saying so, it can be 1, 2, 3 and in 3 it can be 5 subways or it can be A, B, C. In C we have got the 5 subways. So, so, nifty we need to see how it reacts. So, I hope you understand the concept how we are dealing with the LA waves. Okay. So, either it is 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C some resistance will come at this zone as we discussed now. In bank nifty. See, I think uh, this will be an important uh, learning, okay, where we take the low, okay, the entire perspective may change. I said this is the lower low when comparing this point. See, this low is, this low is 32.155 and this low is 32.290. So, this is the lower low when comparing this low. So, I take it as 4 completed here and a, a, B, C, D, E. I completed this pattern here. Okay. And this trend line also uh, broken at this time. So, I counted like this. In A, B, C, D, E, we should have a 3-way move. You can also find a 3-way move here. 3. A 3. Okay. This is where we got the uh, confirmation like that. 
but the pattern changed here so how we can change now if it goes higher okay we can change this trend line to like this one thing still a ending pattern ending diagonal usually in ending patterns okay this a b c d will be a character of like this that means this first wave will be bigger than third okay one and this fourth wave okay will trade mostly in this zone okay this overlap is possible one thing it is acceptable overlap now the first wave is not big if bank nifty need to be bullish we should change the count as okay this e should come here since the first wave should be bigger this is a d right since this first wave is bigger than uh, both third and fifth okay 1 2 3 4 5 in ending patterns and also in leading diagonal the wave 1 will be bigger than third and fifth usually so in that scenario this can be a b c d e but bank nifty needs to move higher okay uh, still bank nifty not participated and only axis has been uh, given a good move i think that is what the entire uh, change happened as per our uh, calculations other things not uh, moved much but we need to track the important uh, is bank nifty and also in hourly if you see it is not a clear impulse okay we need some assumptions second so three uh, see we can take it as a leading diagonal that's why a mark for bullishness but uh, we need to see okay it's not a clear structure as of now so it can if it is a b c okay minimum 100 percent we can expect from this move okay it almost like uh, 45000 so if it is 1 2 3 uh, crossing below this zone okay this top of wave 1 falling below this may invalidate this count okay 1 2 3 so again bank nifty is uh, uh, not uh, clear still not clear so nifty uh, already clear and it's moving and it's also near resistance if bank nifty falls again uh, a previous count may come because it may also made a higher high that e wave not necessarily to touch the trend line and also in e wave there can be a throw over also we call it as throw over when the price uh, moves above the trend line okay above the trend line and uh, come back that's we call it as a throw over okay uh, and also ending pattern that is not necessary to touch the trend line so we need to see the bank nifty how it reacts okay i hope you understand the concepts we are uh, learning in in these videos so i am posting every nifty videos also as a learning video i am not posting it as an analysis or like uh, trading advice or recommendations I am repeating in every video, but since uh, why I said all this information today is uh, a few comments which made me to think why they are uh, posting like that. Since I have said everything in prior uh, videos and posts, I believe they not watch the entire video or uh, video series. So that is their uh, issue, but that is okay. But I am uh, repeating it again. You are watching these things, you cannot find anything these practical ideas tips anywhere for free i guarantee you that okay and uh, as i said before few subscribers or few friends has been texted me uh, that even i have paid uh, money for learning la ways but i not learn these things see uh, in last video we saw my analyze right the triangle pattern in 
complex correction will signifies the end of the corrective pattern these are simple tools now we saw if a triangle comes in a impulse that is the mostly fourth wave and other than that what we should uh, think is if a triangle comes we are nearing the uh, end of that particular wave the last up move will happen after a triangle either it is a 4 or b okay see 1 2 3 4 5 okay this is one impulse structure and a corrective structure a b c okay where the triangle comes is in fourth wave mostly 99 percent of cases the triangle will come in uh, fourth wave only okay and in b wave what signifies just see this see the this is the update we can have as an advantage for elliott wave traders we are in last phase of that particular trend we are in last phase of that particular trend that is the most important learning we should have if a triangle comes what we should assume is we are proceeding in the last wave on that direction on that time frame on that wave count that is more important okay in which wave uh, which time frame in analyzing is important if you're analyzing in uh, monthly for example uh, uh, i think is bpcl i'm not sure right see see in bpcl all right so i'm trying to i think trying to break out okay see if you analyze this pattern what you may think is we are assuming that we are uh, going to get a final wave in this time frame that is weekly okay it will take time okay for example if you take one two three four here in shorter time frame that is four and five completing the second wave and again pursuing the third wave you got the difference right you should know the time frame first okay i think the bpcl uh, when it was trading around this zone i think uh, 300 uh, okay we discuss in our video youtube also from in stock analysis queries you have asked a few stocks to analyze and i posted this video i remember bpcl now it's giving a good move i hope you understand the difference okay just see this is larger structure and this is shorter time frame but the concept is same right after that a breakout we may get a five wave to complete this impulse so after breakout a five wave may complete and curiosity not an advice guys so we may expect minimum of 540 to 600 let's see okay it's not an advice first it needs to give a breakout and then we may assume how uh, then we need to count the internals also okay i hope, I hope uh, you like this video so uh, this is not recommendations i request everyone that see it as a learning opportunity of elite wave so i am posting uh, all the nifty bank nifty analysis also for learning elite waves only how to change the count. a few has been asked how to change the count we can uh, we just saw in bank nifty how we can alter the count okay these are the practical tips ideas you can learn in our channel don't uh, take it anything wrong that i have said a few things like uh, sharing the past charts for i'm not here to prove myself okay i'm i'm here to prove the elliot wave i may be wrong but elliot wave uh, may not be wrong that is what i am saying if uh, if charts not work as per our analysis i am wrong not the tool not the system that is what i am saying but few people saying that Elliott wave will not work. Uh, maybe they think, I don't know why. That's the reason I shared the old charts for you. That may be reference purpose. Or if you're an Elliott wave trader, it may give a confidence for you. Right? So that's why I shared. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. So if you wish to learn uh, Elliott wave in more practical and tradable uh, way, 
our approach you can uh, subscribe the channel so thank you so much and uh, i'm working on uh, actually a series of corrective patterns we already saw uh, expanded flats and uh, complex corrections so next i try to uh, bring the triangle patterns and uh, if you remember i said two things triangle comes in complex that is the end of the corrective pattern it is fourth wave or b wave it's a continuation pattern that is entirely different so how we can differentiate that and how to uh, make use of that pattern to our advantage and i am working on that and i will try to post this video in this coming week okay if you like my work and if you like the tactical approach of la8 waves like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and fellow traders thank you thanks for your support Bye.